currently camping along a remote section of river in the top end of Australia searching for the biggest crocodiles in the world. In my last video we managed to track down a 15 foot salty not far from where we're camped and little did we know the events that were going to unfold within the next few days. Day 2 here in Cape York, we're heading out in the boat this morning to explore a shallow swamp filled with big crocodiles. Ah, when you're ready bros. Good to go. We're just going out in the boat at the moment. Trying to spot some big lizards sunning themselves on the bank. Got the big camera out, so we'll try to get some good shots of them. See if we can get any over that four meter mark. We know that there's big ones in here. What's the biggest croc that's being caught in this one section right here? Uh, 5.1 or 5.2 meters. Yeah. The range you guys caught it last year has been research. Five point, yeah, yeah 5.2 meters. That's a monster crocodile. And he'd still be in this yeah. one section most likely. They put a tracker on him and apparently he used to hang underneath the boats and they wouldn't see him. He'd just keep a very low profile. So he could be under us right now, you'd have no idea. It's good to know that he's about two meters bigger than the boat. Don't right. worry about that, mate. <laughs> so we just jumped out of the boat and we're walking up this big swamp. And while walking up here, We've seen a bunch of feral pigs. Oh, big pig right there. Really? Big boar. <laughs> Should we chase him? Just be careful, eh, because he could charge up. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, just if he charges you, you go up the tree. Yeah. I'll try to get a shot of him. He's hurt us. Oh, you did it. <laughs> he got scared. Dude, I, was, I was looking for the nearest tree. Wait, he's a big one. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> so that's what the big crocs that are in this swamp, no doubt, are feeding on. And that's how they get to this big size, eating so much food. So the biggest croc that was in this big system was 5.1, 5.2 meters. Yeah, about that. They caught it in uh, September or October last year. What's the biggest crocodile that's ever been caught? Biggest one they ever officially verified was six meters and 17 centimeters. Weighed over one ton in weight. It was a salty caught in the Philippines in uh, 2011. Uh, they brought it in captivity. Uh, unfortunately, it, it died a couple months later just from poor husbandry. Um, and the stress of, of being brought into captivity was just too much for a big croc like that. There's claims out there of seven, eight, nine meter crocodiles, but uh, no one can prove them, no one can put tape measures on them. Um, and, and to be honest, sometimes you look at a big croc on the right angle and it does look a lot bigger than what you think. Uh, so I don't blame, you know, fishermen or, or people that, that haven't really worked with crocodiles um, to come up with these big sizes. A six meter, 17 centimeter croc is just huge, one in a million. Yeah, very, very rare individual, that one. Um, to get to that size, you would have had to have excellent conditions growing up. Uh, so plenty of food, maybe good genetics. Um, you know, not much stress in the environment, not much competition from other crocodiles. There's lots of different factors that will determine how they grow. It's said that that croc could have eaten people over in that country as well. Yeah, there's claims that he was, uh, well, I think he was caught because, yeah, a few villages were going missing. Archer fish. Yep. Yep. Barra. There we go. Just a little fella. You reckon he's legal? Oh, I don't know. He'd be borderline. Yeah, pretty close. I don't think it's legal. Such a good looking fish bite. There could be more in here. He just came from the snag right there. Just spear them, just like that. He's kicked off now because all that commotion in the water, all that's doing is attracting crocodiles. So this croc up on the bank here, we think it's a young male. He's probably about 
maybe around 3.3 meters, 3.5, and at that size, it puts him just over the max size of a female. They don't really get over three meters. Now, this croc's actually got a scoot missing at the back of its tail. Um, now, they do that when they do research on crocodiles, so it gives them an ID number. And we're gonna try our best to ID this crocodile, or get a number off of it. This croc may have even been caught by Steve Irwin back in the day. He did a lot of research in this area. Him and his Australia Zoo team, that's really cool to see some scoot cut crocs. You don't yeah. get to see that too often. And that Steve could have caught that crocodile. It's possible when it was yeah. a lot when it was a lot younger, you know. That that croc, he could be he could be 20, 25, maybe 30 years old. It's hard to age him. Um, so he could have been caught when he was a little fella. But um, we'll try our best to find out. Yeah. Oh, again. Yeah, there we go. Barra. Little fella. Oh, that's such a nice looking fish. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yep, I got him. You got him? Surely it's legal. Oh, no, I think he just dropped it. Oh, no, I'm still on, I think. Yeah, yes, legal. it's legal. That's legal. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Come up here, mate. Oh, look at the colours on it. That's that, eh? <laughs> That's what we want. Cape That's York nice Barra. One. Out in this little swamp as well. This is the same swamp that those pigs were early this morning. Yeah. So I reckon we chuck them in the boat and maybe go for a spotlight up this creek, see if we can find any crocs up here. Yeah, he's dinner, this guy. So we're eye shining some real big crocs up here in this big stretch of river. Now the funny thing about the really big ones, these four five metre crocs, is you can see them. They're massive eyes shining from about 200 metres away. But from that distance they go down. These are smart crocodiles. They've survived up until that point. So we could have even shined that big 5.2 metre croc from a few hundred metres away. And since he got caught last year, he's a bit wary of humans at the moment. But we've seen some really cool things. Crocodiles sitting up on the bank. Now, it's a hard life being a small crocodile because you're getting attacked by Barra. You're getting attacked by bigger crocodiles. Even a croc not too much bigger will have a go at you. So yeah, that's why these crocs are sticking to the shallower areas, the little rocky banks. But yeah, how cool is that? All right, so we're back at camp now. Successful day, saw a bunch of crocs. Got a big barra. Now these barra, they can get well up over a meter long. So taking one about this size, perfect for a feed out here in Cape York. Great sports fish and they taste great as well. This one's got a lot of food on it for us. Just made a little fire, wait for it to die down into coals. Chuck it on the paper bark, let it cool off and try it. Look at that. Cheers, bros. Cheers. It's all right, eh? Yeah, it's better than I thought <laughs> swamp barrel would taste like. Wanna try it? I'll be right. <laughs> one for you, one for you, one for me. Does everyone just want lemon though? Might as well. Do you not want it? <laughs> yeah. No, just put it all over. <laughs> Try the tail coat. It's like a potato <laughs> chip. Good milk. Mmm. Really good. Milk.
we're just heading through the bush at the moment. We're making our way to this rock bar, which has big crocs, big lizards, and big fish. We're gonna try to get a big barramundi, like the one we cooked up last night. And there could be big four meter crocs sitting in this right here. Yeah, they could at the moment, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen big crocs sitting in here? Not in this bit, but I know guys that have seen it just on the edge of that rock bar there. Keep an eye out for the Yeah. Just across this river, not a very deep river at all. And we've spotted a big crocodile. Looks to be over four meters long. This is a monster croc. 35 degrees today. It's shallow in here. You can see the bottom. Might look like a beautiful place to go for a swim up here in the top end. And there's a four meter croc just sitting over the other side there. Look at his tail. And these crocs, they don't feel safe in this shallow water. So I wouldn't doubt if he starts heading back up to a deeper pool, whether it's up or down the river. Now this is a very old animal and a very intelligent animal because you've seen a lot of the smaller crocs that we've found on this trip so far. They're being hunted by the big ones, but it's kind of fair because at one point, that bigger croc would have only been this big and it would have been getting hunted by bigger crocs in the system as well. It's an ecosystem that flows so naturally. You kind of forget when you go back home that all of these animals that are living out here are still surviving wherever you are in your life. This is incredible. This crocodile is about to jump over this little rock. We'll get a good look at him, see how big he is. He is massive. He's definitely over four meters and it looks yeah, it looks like he's missing a part of his tail as well. I reckon with the full tail, he could be pushing 4.2 to 4.5 meters. That's crazy. That is a massive animal. We're just gonna sit here and watch this take place. This is one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had with an animal, let alone a crocodile deep in Cape York. Yeah, he's done that, he's done that. See it over? Yeah, The amount of respect and love we have for these species to come out here to a place like this and a place where Steve Irwin used to walk. He would have walked up this creek right here and to see these big crocodiles is just the coolest thing ever. And this is what we live for right here. You can see him swimming off right there. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Yeah, there we go. See you, mate. Should we swap lens? Yeah, I think that one's lens. bigger. Swap this lens. G'day mate. I gotta get past ya. How are you going? This fella's sitting up on the bank right here, watching out for the big crocs because just up that way, 
after filming that crocodile, we saw an even bigger one sitting down here on the bank. You're pretty cool, mate. I've got to squeeze past you. See ya. So what I'm doing now is I'm just walking the banks of this river and I'm going to get my drone up in the air to see if I can find any good little pools that we can maybe catch some fish in. And there might even be some big crocs hanging around this area. This river is seriously so beautiful. So yeah, we'll get it up and see if we can find any. Crazy to think that there's big crocs hanging around this area. I'm gonna fly it over slow, see if I can spot any sitting in the shallows. It'd be pretty cool to find one. There we go. Another big crocodile. He's just as big as the last one, probably about four and a bit meters long. He could even be the same crocodile just further downstream. Final night of the trip. We're going on our last night walk. It's been a pretty epic adventure out here in Cape York. We've seen about 40 or so crocodiles over the past three days. We're gonna try to bump that number up a little bit tonight. See if we can get to 50. There's some big crocs hanging around this shallow stretch of river. Yep, there we go. Charlie's on. Come on. Get it in, Raz. Keep your rod tip up. Get in here. Oh, he's not actually massive yes <laughs> not a bad little fish at all what a cool way to end this trip we thought we'd just come out here for a bit of a fish on the last night before we head out of cape york and yeah got myself a nice barramundi they're coming on the chew at the moment it's a bit hard to film in the dark but yeah that's so cool right there we'll get him back in the water he's legal but i don't think we're going to eat him for dinner eh? we've got one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 crocs right there. There's 16, there's 17 down there. And all the ones over there are in about 20 by 20 meter little yeah, pool. Yeah, I'm actually a bit stumped as to why they're all sitting there because that's on the edge of the deeper water and why they're not spread out here. So pretty, uh, pretty crazy to see that. That takes the numbers up for this trip, eh? How what? many crocs we seen all up on this trip? What did we see just then? 15 there, 20, let's say 24 tonight. Probably looking at about about 55, 60 crocs. That's not a bad effort for, for three nights. Yeah. That's individual crocs, it's not the same ones, you know? Yeah. Some big ones, a lot of little ones. Yeah. So, while fishing here in the top end, it's very important that if you get a lure snagged right near that water's edge, Cut your losses, it's not worth it. People have lost their lives retrieving lures by big crocs attacking him right near the bank. Brody, you actually know someone who has got attacked while getting a lure back up here in Cape York. Yeah, so last year I was lucky enough to meet a guy called Marco. He's a, he's a local from Mariba, and he was up a couple of hours north from here. He was fishing along this bank and his, his lure got tangled down near the edge of the water. Marco made the mistake of going down to the water's edge, just like this. By the time his brain registered, that's a croc head. It was too late. About a four meter croc jumped out. He's actually hit back on the, onto the bank. The crocs grabbed him on the foot. He had big boots on, which probably saved his foot from being crushed. In the commotion, crocs actually grabbed his other foot, pinned him like this, and started doing a U-turn back towards the water. He remained calm and calculated in this situation. Croc dragged him about 10 meters through the water, through the shallows. He waited till he could float, pulled out his bowie knife, and he knew he couldn't stab it in the head because their head's like a piece of steel, wouldn't do anything. So he stabbed it right in the jaw, which is the neck of the croc. It sunk in like butter, he said, and the croc let go. Now, 
The funny thing about this story is before he went for the walk for the fishing, he actually left his knife back at camp, he told me. He walked about 100 metres up and he went, oh, where's my knife? Turned around, went back and got it, and that's what saved his life. Not many people are around to tell that story being attacked by a big croc that size. He and was very, very lucky. Remain in that calm under pressure, wait yeah. to get dragged out into the deeper water yeah. so that he could get his knife out. Yeah, he's a very experienced bushman, Marco, and um, yeah, very, very lucky. And crocodiles, really tough animals. That stab wound in the neck, he's probably already healed up by now. Oh yeah, it wouldn't kill him, not, not at all. Crocs yeah. can do horrible things to each other, rip legs, um, tails. We saw one that was missing half its tail. You were saying the croc up there is missing its front leg, its back leg yeah. and half of its tail. Yeah, it's had a survivors. pretty rough run, hey? <laughs> yeah, definitely survivors. Yeah. Um, they can cut off blood, blood flow to a limb, to a, to a uh, even to major arteries. It's called vasoconstriction. So the um, capillaries and, and everything just tighten inside of the, um, and all the blood vessels just tighten and constrict. Um, and their, their immune system is, is very efficient as well. They rarely get infections in situations like that. And you know, it's a cool story to have, but most people aren't that lucky. You're not surviving a croc attack when a big croc wants you nine out of 10 times, eh? Yeah, not, not too many people. If a big croc's got them in the water, not too many of them are, are around today.